mouse pads. I say I have a few of those. Now most of you watching this video probably do own a mouse pad, be it a high quality artisan or this bullshit from Razer. While each one is different in its own way, its range just isn't as exciting as things like custom keyboards and gaming mice. At their core, mouse pads are all the same. They're just cloth squares for your mouse to do gymnastics on. But what if your mouse pad wasn't cloth? This here's the Skypad Glass, made from glass, the Serapad, made from ceramic, and the Vanser Ice, which is unfortunately not made from ice, but we'll get to that later. Oh my god, Armageddon, my mouse pad is made of wood, it's called my table hut. Now the Skypad Glass has been my main for nearly a year now for good reason. It makes the glide of nearly all my mice feel smooth and effortless. This is both a good and bad thing, cause low sense players might enjoy the freedom of movement, but people who play on higher sense might find it hard to control. This is where the Serapad comes in, cause you get a very similar experience to the Skypad, but this has a lot more control. I'd say the only problems these two mouse pads have are your wrists sticking to them when it gets hot and having to clean them almost hourly cause even a single speck of dust will get picked up by your mouse. Now the final mouse pad, the Vanser Ice, identifies as both a glass mouse pad and a cloth pad. It's a soft pad with a glass infused surface which makes it the fastest cloth mouse pad out there right now. The glide is buttery smooth once again and its speed is very similar to the Skypad glass though it does have a lot more stopping power. It is much more affordable than the other two though you do lose out on the infinite durability perk that the other hard mouse pads have. Now if you're on a lookout for a new mouse pad and you want to try something else, all three of these can be found on Lethal Gaming Gear where you can use code Armagon for 10% off. They're all really fun to use and definitely something worth experiencing.